Well, hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a really cool dependency called Flutter TTS or text to speech. So I'll head over to pub.dev and uh, I'm going to write Flutter TTS. And I'm going to click on this first result, which takes me to the dependency itself. And then you can go over to the installing tab, copy this dependency. Then I'll go over to the pub.dev. Um, Oh, sorry, pubspec.yaml and include that dependency right over here and sync it. So once the dependency is synced, I'm going to head over to pub.dev and go over to readme and just read some of the instructions. So there are no specific configuration that you need to do for in order for this dependency to work in Android or in iOS. But uh, in here, it's marked that for iOS, there's a known issue with integrating plugins that use Swift into a Flutter project created with Objective-C template. So uh, anyone who's working or developing this for iOS can refer to this issue. Maybe they have found a solution. Also for Android, the minimum SDK version should be 21. So if you go over to Android and uh, then you go to app build.griddle. So here, uh, all you need to change is this min SDK version so you need to set it from 19 to 21. Great. So now uh, let's come back to main.dart and see what all things do we need to do. So first we need to import the uh, Flutter TTS file. So I'm going to just copy this address and paste it right over here. Uh, you can see that we have very simple application. So instead of my app, I'm going to create a Flutter TTS instance, uh, just like that, Flutter TTS equal Flutter TTS. The second thing that I'll do is instead of the container, I'll write alignment, alignment.center, child, uh, raised button, raised button. Then uh, I'll, for the child, I'll write text, press this button to say hello. And then finally, for the on pressed, I'll write speak. Now we need to define the speak method. So just inside of the build method, I'll write, yeah, just inside of the build method, I'll write speak. And uh, the way this uh, speak would really work is, uh, first of all, let me just mark this flutter TTS as final so that my app stops showing that blue line to us. Then instead of the speak method, the simplest way to implement this is to write await flutter uh, actually flutter tts dot speak and then you can pass in the text that you want it to speak so for now I'll write hello all right let's check it out there we go so we have a raised button at the center of the screen and when I press Right, yeah, so we ran into a problem and I figured it out. The thing is that I changed the minimum SDK version when the app was running and that is why the minimum SDK version was not updated. So I detached the app and executed flutter run once again. And now finally, uh, let me just uh, change this to tap this button to say hello. And then insert the flutter.speak, I'm gonna write Hello. And as soon as I restart it or actually hot reload it, and then when I click on this, hello. it says hello. But it says this in a very weird voice. The reason is simply because I I earlier set some language for this uh, and it's probably using some accent to say that hello. So yeah, you could also set language. And that's what we're gonna try next. So I'll write await flutter dts dot set language there you go now you need to pass a language string now we don't know how many languages are there so for that what i'll do is i'll simply write print um, await flutter dts dot get languages and now when i hot reload the app and click on this button 
it prints this long list. So these are all the, all the languages that are supported. So I'm going to set this language to await Flutter TTS dot set language. And for English, you need to choose uh, en dash us. So we have en dash us. Different versions of English are also supported. For example, en dash au and this, yeah, en dash in for Indian language that is in Indian accent, probably. Now I'm going to tap on this button. Hello. Oh, yeah, the reason why it says it so weirdly is also because I set the pitch for the voice. So for now, I'll write flutter tts dot set pitch. And you can give a pitch between 0 0.5 to 1.5. So I'm going to write 1. Hello. Now it says hello perfectly. So you can play around with this. Uh, you could set a higher pitch to get the deep voice or a lower pitch to get the funny squeaky voice that we just heard. And we have flutter tts dot set silence, um, set speed rate. So you can handle the speech rate basically. You can handle voice, you can handle volume. Uh, the speak is something that we have already covered. Stop, you can dynamically stop the speech on the press of a button. And then we have two string and TTS init handler. Another cool thing is that you can set languages uh, right from here. So I'm gonna change this from ENUS to, uh, let's see, what all, what all type of languages did we have? I'm gonna change this to um, hi dash ian that is hindi so right hi dash ian and when i tap this button hello it says hello in an indian accent now i'm going to go over to chrome and i'm going to write uh, hey how are you and i'm going to translate that to hindi and then i'll copy this and paste this string right over here now when I reload and tap this button, Are aap kaise hain? it speaks the sentence in Hindi. Alright, so let's try some other language. For example, we have are you dash are you, which is Russian. I'm going to paste that in there. And then I'm just going to translate the same sentence in Russian. Then I'll copy this and paste it over here. And now when you reload it, Привет, как ты? okay, I have no idea what it said. Привет, как ты? All right, now let's try one more language. Uh, you can see that you can use any language such as FR, FR, that is French, or PTBR. This I think is Portuguese, Brazil. And then I'll paste a sentence, a Portuguese sentence, and try to run that. Olá, como vai? Okay. Olá, como vai? Now, I'm going to try something different. So, I'll just cut this from over here. And as a child, I'm going to pass column. Set the main exercise to main exercise dot min. Then for the children, I'll pass in this uh, raise button. And I'm also going to pass another widget called form field. Actually, I'm going to pass text form field. And I'm just going to specify a controller. Then I'll write text editing controller. So far, we have not made a text editing controller. So I'll go at the very top of this, or maybe just insert the build method, and I'll write text editing controller, text editing controller equal text editing controller. And then yeah, so we have signed the text editing controller and then when you press on this on pressed, I'm going to pass text editing controller dot text as an argument. Then we'll receive that argument over here, string text. And then we are finally going to speak whatever we type inside of the text field. So I'll write text. And then for the language, I'll simply write en dash us. I'm going to hot restart the app once again. And there we go, we have a text field, and instead of the text field, I'm going to write Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Brilliant. 
um, let's let's try something else like this is a nice place this is a nice place so that was just a quick demonstration of a really fun dependency also to have some fun i'm going to change the set pitch to 1.5 and then i'll write hello over here and tap this button hello and now when i set it to 0 0.5 and reload the app and write hello hello you see the voice is much more deeper and denser so yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and learned something of value also i wanted to share with you that this time i've tried a different way of producing the video usually in all my videos i follow at least five steps that is the first one is to uh, write a script then record audio then edit the audio then record video edit the video and wrapping it all up but in this video there was no script and I'm thinking of continuing this pattern for those videos which are short, sweet and where I don't have to explain much in detail. So if you like this new method of video production, you can tell that to me in the comments below and if you're new, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.